Hi, I'm Ian Hayhoe. Uh, I'm the uh, Head of Retention and Telesales at O2. Um, some of you will have met me, some of you probably haven't met me, but I thought worthwhile me just giving you an overview of what we're trying to achieve in relation to system thinking. Now, you'll have probably heard from some of your colleagues who have already started on a trial about system thinking and some of the things we are trying to do and some of the things we're not trying to do. Now, system thinking for us is a, a program that we're running through to try and improve the customer experience. What we've identified is that from the work we do in either new business or in upgrades, there's quite a lot of failure created for the customer off the back of the calls we take. And that's not because of anybody's fault, that's not because anybody's doing anything wrong, that's purely because um, our processes drive us to have a certain amount of failure off the back of the calls. Now as you can imagine, as a business that creates quite a significant amount of cost and waste back into the centre. Our job with system thinking is to find a way to improve the processes, to improve the customer experience, to improve on what we're trying to achieve as a business. But do that in such a way as, not only does it mean there's less cost for us, but also commercially we do it in a very positive way. So what does system thinking mean? System thinking means just being better for the customer. System thinking means just being better for the business. But at no cost. At no cost to us in terms of our commercial performance and no cost to us in terms of overall increase in the amount of time it takes us to deal with customer inquiries. What will that mean for you? Well that might mean changes in the way you speak to customers. That might mean changes in the way in which you deal with customers in terms of the processes. But also it might mean that you have extra handling time or extra time taken to deal with the customer. Now that doesn't necessarily matter to us because what we're trying to do is, re is reduce the overall time to deal with the customer. So that's not just the single call you deal with, that's all the subsequent calls, either the piece of new business or the piece of retention work. So that means that we can move forward and we can move forward with a much more streamlined process that works much more effectively, that gets things right for the customer first time and delivers an amazing experience which really takes us forward into the next level. Have we sorted everything out? Do we know exactly how it will work and do we know every single process of every single change we need to make? Do you know what? No. That's not the answer. Are we working through it slowly but surely? Yes we are. We have some really good ideas about how we want to change the customer experience and we're putting teams through and testing and refining those ideas as we go. We will continue to refine those and we need your support in trying to refine those. So as you go through the programme, as you get invited to join the programme, we will take on board the feedback, we'll refine the processes to make sure it's right, right for you and right for the customer. This is a really exciting programme and a really exciting time to be working with O2 to try and make this an amazing customer experience. And actually, your feedback is really welcome and all the things that you try and do will be positive about. Will it all work first time? No. But will it work better with you on board? Absolutely. What we're trying to do is see things from your perspective and from a customer's perspective to try and do all the right things for the customers and for our people. So, as and when you get the opportunity to come and join the programme, that's brilliant. Look at people who are on the programme in the, in the short term, see what they're doing, find out what they're doing, and feed into what they're doing. Because this is gonna be a fairly lengthy process to bring everybody on board, and it will take as long as it takes. But rest assured, we're committed to try and find a way to make it work and we're committed to absolutely improving the experience for everybody. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope you do enjoy it as you go through the programme. And I look forward to seeing you next time in Durham Valley. Thank you very much.